Hey everybody, what's going on? It's Adam Russell with Mountain View Seeds. I'm the Director of Product Development for Mountain View and uh, coming to you live here uh, from an undisclosed location in the Carolinas uh, on an iron cutter vegetative trial. I'm extremely excited to have this trial on the ground. It's gr been growing in about three weeks. Uh, we're very happy with the results. Uh, establishment is, has been on point, uh, even with, with 10 inches of rain on top of the grass. And we feel like we're just reaching to the point uh, where it's gonna start to boom. Uh, Iron Cutter is, is the newest introduction uh, for warm season vegetative Bermuda grass from Mountain View. Uh, it was bred by the legendary Dr. Charles Talaferro. Uh, Dr. Talaferro is responsible for not only vegetative but seeded Bermuda grasses, uh, the original Gaiman, uh, also Riviera, Monaco, and Rio Bermuda grasses, uh, and as well as vegetative uh, successes like Patriot, uh, Northbridge, and, and Latitude 36. So. Um, Iron Cutter is his newest, and, and again, we're extremely excited about its potential. Uh, in the NTEP trials, uh, this placed itself in, in the very top group of, of new Bermuda grass introductions uh, in the 2013 to 2017 trial. Again, one of the highest rated uh, for all metrics, uh, but it was exceptional for turf grass quality, uh, for establishment, for fine texture, uh, and, and drought. So this is something we feel like can go across the U.S. Uh, can go internationally and and we want to bring it to you so we're going to try to show you real quick so this is our iron cutter vegetative trial uh, this trial was planted about three weeks ago and it was uh, cut into sprigs and planted at about a nine to one ratio uh, from sod to sprigs uh, so again three weeks we've had about 10 inches of rain on the plot as you can see it's just getting to the point uh, with the heat and and with its establishment uh, where we feel like it's going to start to boom okay so as you can see here this is a close-up view and we want to show you uh, kind of what it looks like at three weeks and how it's growing in uh, we think it's done exceptional uh, one of the notes from the sod producer was the fine texture uh, of the grass itself we'll see if we can zoom in here quickly and as you can see it's starting to run uh, we'll get a, a third app a fertility app on top of it uh, inputs have been lean uh, and, and we have had a lot of rain on, on top. So as you can see, we're just getting to the point uh, where we think this grass can boom. And we look forward to seeing what it can do in the future. If you have any interest in Iron Cutter, please reach out to us. We're uh, taking foundation field stock and sending it out uh, for trials for full contracts. Uh, and we're starting to put our marketing plan in place uh, to really identify uh, the next generation of, of great Bermuda grass. Moving on from Iron Cutter Vegetated Bermuda Grass, we have Rio, Mountain View's exclusive elite seeded Bermuda Grass for golf, sports turf, and landscape. With the COVID-19 pandemic, there was a unique situation in Pasadena, California at the Rose Bowl. Management there decided that they would forego resodding the field as normal for the upcoming college football season. At this point, Will Snell and his amazing crew uh, began the search for the best seeded Bermuda grass variety that they could use. And they landed on Rio. Uh, they chose it for its uh, establishment, its quick grow in, and its elite fine texture that's able to stand up with the best vegetative hybrids. So on the 21st of April, the seedbed was prepped, good, firm, consistent seed to soil contact and great coverage uh, with the seed application. Not surprisingly, on, on the 26th of April, five days later, we have the initial germination of the seed. Uh, the blue you see is a seed coating uh, that is put on all uh, Rio seeded Bermuda grass. On the 5th of May, we start to see the initial germination progressing. We're maturing at this point. Uh, Will Schnell and his crew are, are pushing inputs. Uh, they're really uh, hitting the cultural practices. Growth blankets were applied uh, to simulate high heat conditions. You can see this progression uh, through the 12th and on to the 19th, how much the Bermuda grass boomed as a seeded. And we think this is one of the biggest benefits of the grass, this quick establishment, this quick infill. On the 23rd of May, you can see those growth blankets, that artificial temporary irrigation uh, that's being pushed. At this point, uh, we encounter some challenges. Uh, it's not perfect and, and growings rarely are, uh, but we had Pythium uh, on the field as a result of, of doing this cultural practice. And so we took a bit of a step back, uh, observed and, and put some fungicides on it, and were able to overcome the attack on the field uh, and progress to the 25th and onto the 31st of May 
and you can see uh, fully recovered, a uh, deep, uh, dark green. Uh, you can see almost full maturity. And at this point, it's about making the stand uh, as, as dense, uh, as, as able to withstand traffic as possible. And so in the final picture on June the 5th, uh, you can see that we've done that. A great color in the background and the extensive rooting system uh, that makes Rio uh, so good and, and the newest, uh, best choice for seeded Bermuda grass uh, for sports turf managers. We hope you'll give it a look. Uh, this is the Rose Bowl, a Rio seeded Bermuda grass exclusively from Mountain View Seeds.